Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. We are going to set up and install a master node on a Linux machine. So let's get started. I will establish a connection with uh, my, uh, my Linux uh, machine. I will use uh, an SSH tunnel to access it. Here we go. So you should uh, have um, a user with uh, privileges uh, which uh, could uh, let you uh, install new packages as a pre request. And uh, here we go to docs massa.net and uh, we'll visit we'll access installing node section uh, ignore from binaries go ahead to from source code so we will uh, able to 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 build our binaries uh, which fits uh, exactly our uh, linux uh, machine so before uh, running uh, apt install we have to run sudo apt update to update the list of packages in the remote repositories which are available in remote repositories mm -hmm. okay And we will copy this command to install uh, the pre-request packages. Uh, we will add screen to get uh, virtual uh, terminals. We will see um, the usage uh, in the next states. And we run the install. Uh, as you can see, I already um, installed all the per request packages so uh, i don't uh, have to wait or uh, to download them and with the next step is uh, you have to install the rust tool chain if you if you don't uh, have it you should run this command okay i will choose wait so i as you can see, uh, I already uh, installed it, so it's very fast. But uh, if it's a new installation, you have to wait. I will check my, uh, not my rest version. I will install the last nightly. Not the last nightly, but the nightly which uh, fits the actual version of testnet, which is uh, testnet 18. So you have to use this exact uh, reference. There you go. You make sure that you are running an, on a nightly toolchain. All is OK. The next step is to uh, download Massa repository and uh, exactly the, the testnet branch. There you go. You have to wait a little bit to so that's all we'll uh, continue our tutorial to run in node section so yeah go to from source code and we will continue um, you have to understand the one thing uh, you, when you run your your node should always be running so you have to to find a way to run two terminals or uh, running the node in background etc here i'm using screen to 
to create uh, two uh, two virtual terminals uh, in order to 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 use uh, to, to don't kill my uh, master node. So I will use this command actually s to create a session massa node. Here we go. So we are inside the new virtual terminal. So we'll do massa massa node. Yes, and we will run our node with this command, which will build and run uh, our massa node in this machine. You have to, to choose uh, your secret password for your. Uh, it should be the same with the client. And here we go. Uh, we have to wait, but uh, you could um, run this in background and uh, switch back to your principal uh, uh, terminal. Uh, you have to hold CTRL and uh, click on A and D to detach this one. So you will create a new session which uh, we'll call it client. So we will uh, try to run our client. Uh, master client and we have to run this command with the same password as our uh, master node so I don't think that the node is already running so we will verify this before running uh, our client I will CTRL A CTRL D we could see the the, the list of uh, available uh, s screens yeah and you will use R to select massa you could use the ID or the name of the session ah so uh, as you can see uh, it's not finished it will uh, take a little bit <laughs> of time uh, and uh, we have to wait before uh, running our client so uh, after that we will uh, see yeah uh, here we have um, here we have um, an update procedure if you want to keep uh, if you are coming from testnet 17 to testnet 18 uh, you have uh, the, the procedure to to um, to migrate but uh, we are in testnet so you i prefer personally to to make a fresh install and just keep your wallet or create a new one because uh, um, your um, your uh, your rewards are related to your discord discord account not uh, into your uh, uh, into in, into your wallet so uh, I prefer uh, a fresh install to avoid all this uh, all this uh, extra steps to 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 migrate. Yeah, nice. As you can see, our uh, node is running. Uh, he it it's finished the the bootstrap, and uh, we could run our client. We have to use CTRL A, CTRL D to, to switch to quiet and uh, up to B and we will return to the client and run this command the client will be uh, faster to build and run and you will get uh, access to the CLI is is building so yeah 
the first um, command that uh, you ha when you have the client you have to 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 uh, ping your uh, node if it's running or not so the first uh, command you that you is the get status to to to, to see if uh, all is okay so here we are in testnet uh, 18 and um, our node is running you have different informations about the blockchain you have the genesis timestamp and timestamp etc and uh, here you have the 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 ids of the connected uh, nodes uh, as you can see we have uh, here you have uh, out connection to to this uh, node you have in connections you know it's a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, network so uh, it's normal to have different uh, peers like that so we have different operations in the client so um, after that i think the 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 next step is to check if uh, your um, your ports are uh, opened to 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 externally so you have to um, you have to open uh, your um, you have to open uh, your uh, your ports in order to establish uh, uh, connections with uh, with others so uh, it worked because i already set up i already opened all the the ports in my firewall so i use you i will write this ctrl a is ctrl d so here we'll see if you don't have your firewall enabled so here we have a list of open it port on this machine as you can see i have the the masa private port uh, closed here the it's the port of the public um, public api which could be exposed uh, uh, which should be exposed here this is the new port of the the new api v2 which supports also web sockets uh, here the ports are used um, to um, to make your um, you are not uh, rootable so uh, we will see it in uh, another um, in another tutorial to how to make uh, your node rootable and uh, make it access the the reward uh, program etc so uh, that's it if you if you have uh, your node running and uh, the ports are opened the it's the first step to to to, to join uh, massa network so uh, thank you and uh, see you in the next tutorial